Sosso. Hello, my name is Nadir Boumouche. I am 21 years old. I am a Moroccan citizen and I am a double major in international security and conflict resolution as well as television, film and new media. Uh, I'm also the director, producer and writer of the movie My Machsen and Me and I um, currently live in San Diego, California. Um, I apologize I can't be here in person tonight. Uh, because of my studies here, I, I can't really leave and uh, come to Paris to join you guys for the premiere in, in France tonight. Uh, but I really appreciate all of you uh, coming to watch my film. What motivated me to make this film is uh, uh, the fact that when I went to my home country, Morocco, two years ago in the summer of 2010, uh, my camera got confiscated as I was uh, going into the country. Uh, originally, I, I was planning to shoot a short film on uh, a, a young Palestinian girl in the 1982 Lebanon war. So that had nothing to do with the, the Mahzen or uh, the Moroccan government. It was, I, I had never had a, uh, a critical record of the, of the Mahzen. And so I was really surprised when, when my camera got confiscated. And I spent the next three weeks trying to, uh, you know, going from bureaucracy to bureaucracy, trying to get the, my camera back. And so that's what really pushed me to, to make a film like this. Uh, I had actually wanted to make a film on the Centre Cinématographique Marocain, um, but when the protests broke out in Morocco in, in February 20th of 2011, I decided that it would be better to go to the actual source of, of our problems, uh, the Mahzen itself, and make a documentary that uh, will, will reveal the strategies it uses to um, clamp down on protests. A lot of people ask me why um, I would make a film like this when I come from a wealthy Moroccan background and that I, uh, my interests are actually better served with the, re with the regime as it is. Um, but the way I see it is um, I'm, I'm going to have children, my, my, my young sister also uh, need, needs a secure future and that the way the system is set up right now that future can be taken away uh, really easily especially if you're in a, uh, in a field that requires um, uh, yeah, expression which uh, I'm in and I, I would like to express myself whenever I want however I want in my own country and so I decided that I wanted to make a film that would break down uh, the, the lack of freedom of speech in Morocco. One thing that marked me about the protests when I was there is the courage of the protesters. Uh, they, they were very um, uh, fearless when they came to dealing with uh, the, the, the riot police. When I, when I was there myself, of course, the first time I, I had to deal, when I saw the buses of the riot police just showing up and uh, whole rows of them, I was, I was really, really scared, and they really convinced me that, um, that there was nothing to be afraid of, that the worst that could happen is um, getting arrested maybe or, or uh, getting beaten, but I wasn't going to die. And that's, that's, the, that's one good side about uh, Morocco that differentiates it from other countries in the Arab Spring, but the, the reality is there's still repression, uh, people still uh, get arrested for things that normally in democracies they should be arrested or uh, mistreated for. Today my view on the February 20th movement is that uh, it's become more, uh, more, um, more pure because a lot of the elements that had uh, kind of attached to it before, like the PG original uh, February 20th youth, and so now we're seeing a more pure movement that's really just the core activists who are um, fighting for change. 
My plans for the future as an international security and conflict resolution major and a film major is to make more films uh, uh, that are critical of the Mahsan because I feel like not a lot of films are made about that subject. Uh, most of what we see in Morocco makes it uh, seem like a beautiful, well, it is a beautiful country, but it makes it seem like it's a, a perfect country, like there are no problems. And I wanted to break down that facade that the Mahsan likes to create with its propaganda. Uh, basically my goal in life is to uh, break down the propaganda machine of the Mahsan. Uh, once that's done, uh, I, I will move on to other uh, places in the Arab world that, that need that kind of uh, coverage and uh, provide them with coverage through NGOs like Amnesty International and Human Rights Watch. Um, one thing I would like to tell the uh, Moroccan diaspora in France is um, that you are just as important as the activists within Morocco. That um, we, we need uh, the Moroccan diaspora, whether it's in France or the United Kingdom or the United States, to really push for change from outside because it's international pressure that will result in change within Morocco. Um, the, pro the protesters right now are not supported by uh, Western democrat so-called democratic states. Uh, Hillary Clinton uh, called Morocco a model, but it's not, obviously. And it's up to us as the Moroccan diaspora to put pressure on these Western governments to actually make change uh, from outside and help the protesters from inside. Um, I would also like to thank the organization Nord Maroc for organizing this premiere. Um, you guys are doing a great job help, helping me provo promote this film in France and I, I am really grateful for that and uh, thank you for coming to us. توحيد ولا تجديد اشتراكي اسلامي قديم جديد يا صاري كتلة معارض بين الرفض والتأييد الحرية والتقييد كان بقى محيد كان آمن فكرة وحدة المحاسبة المالية ومن اين لك هذا واللي شافر شي حاجة يردى اكو كان حلم نشوف مغرب غدا خلوني نحلم من حقي ولحت الحلم خاصو رخصة وراقي وسطة وراقي الحلم هو اللي باقي قدام واقع معاش فيه لشباب كيموت في صناقي كان اعتاضر ما كان عرف نختاصر هذا تعبير شفاوي وجهة نادر كلمة الحق نقولها وما عندي كاسر حيت 